business owners in Uganda, more so those following the small and medium groups, need to open up themselves for more governance scrutiny in light of a wide range of opportunities that accrue. But somebody will say, and somebody has asked a question today, but how about a private company? Private company under the Companies Act is voluntary. But I, I would like to uh, say that the, they are private companies in Uganda that are bigger in terms of turnover. The head of the Capital Markets Authority, Japheth Kato, was speaking of the sidelines of a governance breakfast meeting convened by AIG here in Kampala this morning. It's not just we regulators are imposing a requirement. You need a buy-in and say, look, if you govern your business this way, you attract more investment and so on. And by the way, a well, well-governed company, and this is, is like living to borrow money at a lower rate. For instance, you can get money in the capital market because of good corporate governance. Relatedly, experts from developed markets are asking SMEs to seek insurance products that can shield them from losses in their businesses as well as prop up their credit worthiness. The reason SMEs have the same requirements as public companies that directors act in a particular manner um, without breaching their duty, without uh, putting the interests of their own ahead of the company, avoiding conflicts of interest. So the exposures from a regulatory point of view are there for SMEs. Local enterprises have time and again recorded high fatalities due to a number of reasons related to such above that stress their competitiveness beyond a year of operations. Reina Ogden, NTV Business.